The Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils are a very popular brand of coloured pencils and they're widely recommended and used by a lot of professional artists. Now although this brand of pencils has a really good reputation and I personally love using them as well, you might have difficulty using them for certain things and that is because they're an oil based pencil. So I thought I would do a review on them, talking through the pros and cons of using these pencils, so that if you're on the fence and not really knowing whether these pencils are right for you, this video may help you. Just very quickly, I just wanted to let you know that I also do have a brand new Skillshare class, it's called Working with Watercolours, and I do have the link to this class down below. You can get access to this class by clicking the link below and if you haven't joined Skillshare already they are also doing a free trial period as well. And also if you are new around here please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on as well because I upload videos here every single week. But without further ado let's jump on with today's video. The Polychromos pencils are an oil-based pencil, so they can be used for a whole wide range of things. Whether you're a portrait artist to an animal artist, you might find these pencils are a great option for you if you're really wanting to spend out on professional quality pencils and get great results in your drawings. We're going to be testing a whole wide range of things with these pencils their build quality, the way that they lay down on the paper, their blending abilities, whether they work well with different blending methods like solvents, their colour range and sets, as well as things like light fastness, just so we can get an idea of how well these pencils really work and whether they are worth the reviews that they get. So let's take a look at build quality. Now build quality is an extremely important part to take into consideration with your coloured pencils because the better quality your pencils, the more durable they're going to be, the better that they're going to last and the longer they're going to last as well. So it's very important to invest in pencils that have a very good quality. The Polychromos pencils are a superior quality pencil. They're an oil-based pencil, so they can sharpen to a really fine point and retain their sharp point. They also have a protective barrel on the end of these pencils, which protects the lead inside the wood casing. If you accidentally drop these pencils, the lead inside the casing will be protective because of that barrel on the end of them. They also have a centred lead, which is extremely important because if you're wanting to apply lots of pressure to your paper, then you're not going to have that fear of the lead constantly breaking. What I love about these pencils is that they have a variety of different sets and colour ranges. And that's really important for coloured pencils, because the better colour sets and range that you have, the more you're going to be able to stretch your colour palette. And I am a big fan of the Polychromos range for the fact that they have a variety of a lot of different colours and tones and hues for drawings. Now I did buy my set of Polychromos pencils from Amazon because this is the cheapest that I found it when I was actually purchasing these pencils. But you can get these pencils from a wide range of different websites and even in some stores as well. But what I also love about the Polychromos pencils is that you can buy them open stock, so as individual pencils, so therefore you don't have to splash out on a really large set. But you can also buy small sets of pencils as well, for example starting from a set of 12, and you can really stretch your colours by mixing colours together and creating your own palette. So you absolutely can stretch your pencils far, even with a small set. A top tip I have for really trying to stretch your pencils is by creating colour swatches. Now you can just swatch every individual colour if you want to, but I would definitely recommend using a pencil chart like this if you have a smaller set and just making lots of different colour combinations. It's always important to use these charts and make sure that you're writing down the names of each pencil that you're mixing together so that you remember how to create different colour combinations. And I'd really recommend doing this if you only have a small set of pencils. So say for example you had just a set of 10 of the Polychromos pencils, you can definitely make well over 100 colours just by mixing colours together. So that is the importance of doing charts like this and mixing colours together. You're going to be able to also create lots of different colour combinations that you wouldn't have even thought about just by doing this method. So it's a really good method to use and to have with your pencils. 
So now we're moving on to some techniques. So how well do these pencils work with certain techniques? Layering is an extremely important technique. You're gonna be using layering probably more than most of your other techniques because layers are a fundamental part of building up your colors and your tones. So for example, particularly if you're wanting to create portraits where you're gonna be building up a lot of tones and textures on the skin and hair, or even things like animals. And I'm really pleased to say that these pencils are great for building up layering. It's really easy to mix colours together to create undertones and then build up from light, mid and dark tones. Because these pencils are an oil-based pencil, it means that they're going to be able to retain their sharp point for longer. And using sharp pencils to aid you with layering is a really important thing because blunt pencils doesn't give you as much even coverage as using sharp pencils and it can also scratch your paper as well. I find layering lots of different colours and combinations is really easy with these pencils and I'd also like to point out that the Polychromos works well with a lot of different other brands of pencils, even wax based pencils. So what about blending? Again, blending is an extremely important part when you're using colored pencils. And that's because it helps you to create a lot of even textures. It helps you to smooth and flatten down the tooth of your paper. Blending comes at the very final results of your drawing process. And I really love using the Polychromos pencils for blending. Although they're an oil pencil, they still have that butteriness to them, which helps aid with blending. I just find in general that I need to apply a few more extra layers of these pencils than I would with wax pencils because they do have that scratchier lead to them. But overall they're a great pencil to blend. And what I love about the oil pencils is that they do leave less of a wax bloom than wax pencils. It may be a little bit harder for you to achieve the same results that you're going to get with wax pencils because wax pencils are a naturally softer core than these pencils, but it's not impossible, which is why I say that although these pencils are oil-based and better for more textured and detailed pieces like animals, for example, you can still use these pencils for portraits because as long as you build enough layers up, that will really aid with your blending process and make it much more easier and simple for you to blend. One of the best blending methods to use with the Polychromos pencils is using a solvent. Solvents naturally work better with oil-based pencils, so it's no surprise that solvents and Polychromos pencils are a great combination. If I'm drawing animals and I really want to shave some time off of my drawing process, then I would definitely use the Polychromos pencils in combination with the solvent rather than other pencil brands. This is because you don't get the same results with using wax pencils and solvent. Wax pencils perform better with dry blending techniques, such as using a blending pencil. Whereas oil-based pencils like the Polychromos do work so much better with this technique, using the solvent and then blending out. One of my favourite ways to blend solvent is by using cotton buds, because I just find that it helps me get a lot more coverage and even results. But using a paintbrush as well might be a really good option for you, especially if you're wanting to still keep some defined details. Sometimes the cotton bud can blend these pencils out a little bit too much, so you do have to be careful depending on what type of texture and techniques you're wanting to use. Now I briefly mentioned this, but the polychromos are absolutely excellent for creating a lot of detail and texture. That is because they're an oil-based pencil. And because they're an oil-based pencil, they have a much harder and defined lead. This means that they're much easier in general to sharpen and that they retain their sharp point for longer. With wax pencils, they have a much softer core, which means that as you apply pencil to the paper, they're going to wear down a lot quicker than oil pencils. So the Polychromos pencils tend to last a really long time for me in between sharpening. I use a helical sharpener as well because I find that it really helps me to get that really defined point. Now this is particularly important if you're wanting to create a lot of fur texture, so say for example that you're an animal portrait artist, and that is because having a sharp point is going to allow you to get a lot of detail into your drawing, and fur is very very detailed. So I would definitely recommend you using these pencils for animal drawings and drawings that have more details to them. You can even use them in combination with maybe wax based pencils for portraits because for textured parts of the drawing such as the hair, these pencils are going to come in real handy for you. 
Plus these pencils would be great if you're creating portraits with a lot more of a rougher texture to the skin. For example, if you're drawing a lot of older people and you're wanting to create textures like wrinkles, these pencils because of their harder lead will be a great pencil to use for that. I love using the Polychromos pencils in combination with an X-Acto knife when I'm creating things like fur. Because what the X-Acto knife does is it scratches away the layers of coloured pencil to reveal the lighter tones and undertones underneath. This is really good for creating that specific fur detail and really making your drawing stand out. This is also a really good technique to use in portraits where the skin is a lot more of a rougher texture. The Polychromos on the whole has a really good light fast rating. There is only two pencils that I do have an issue with and it's these two pencils which I'm going to put on the screen right now. That is because they have a lower light fast rating which means that they won't last as long as some other colours. But it is just two pencils out of the set of 120 pencils and what I'd recommend you do is if you have these pencils swap them out for another pencil similar colour from another brand that has a better light fast rating. For example, something like the Luminance pencils. This is because you want to be using durable pencils, especially if you're going to be working for a client, you're going to be exhibiting work, or you really want to have long lasting work. If you're just practicing or you're a beginner, this might not be a main issue for you, but I definitely wanted to throw light fastness in here because I didn't know a lot about light fastness until I actually started researching it for myself. And I definitely recommend that you look into it because it's important that you have pencils that are going to be durable and last. So that is it for today's video. I really hope that you did find this review helpful. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me a like and a comment as well. Thank you so much for watching, keep creating and I will see you soon. Bye guys!